Hello all. Uh, first, I want to apologize for not putting a post last week. As many of you know, I was sick, not cancer sick, just regular sick. I had the flu and then it turned into strep throat and I was just, I was in bed for a week and I just wasn't feeling up to it. Uh, but I'm fine and uh, I don't want anybody to worry. So I apologize for missing a week, that's why. Um, and during this past week, I've obviously been thinking a lot about what happened in Japan and the people there and what they're going through. And my heart goes out to the people who lost friends and family members, people who are injured and now have to struggle with maintaining their previous abilities. And of course, my heart goes out to those whose lives have been lost, who suddenly and violently, without any warning, without any ability to plan, without any ability to say goodbye, um, whose lives just ended in a moment, in a second. And it got me thinking, you know, I say to lots of people, there's always somebody else out there who's got it worse than me. And people say, how do you maintain your optimism? Or how do you keep up such a good attitude? And I say, because I remember what I'm thankful for. And at the heart of it, you know, what I think about when I think about the people in Japan and what they're suffering with is how lucky I am. And I know it sounds perverse. And I remember saying this even four years ago ovarian cancer has actually made me realize how lucky I am you know not to say that I'm happy that I got this don't get me wrong <laughs> there are many other ways I would rather have learned the lesson but I have a great family I have wonderful friends I have a fantastic support network I have people that I can talk to people that I can laugh with people who provide me with you know, true joy in my life. And as much as I have to deal with the notion of my own mortality, this has given me a chance to really focus on what I want and make sure that my message, whatever it is, gets told to the people that I want to hear it and that I spend the time with them. And it's given me the opportunity to really evaluate what's most important in my life and to focus on that. And so, you know, yes, there are people out there who are way better off than I am in many different senses, but there are a lot of people out there who aren't nearly as lucky as I am. And uh, whatever hardships I have to face, I also have to be grateful for the wonderful blessings in my life. So, you know, I hope that nobody has to come to the realization because of a tragedy on the scale of Japan or because they have to deal with this type of thing in their life and that they're able to realize all of the wonderful things that they have and appreciate them and tell the people in their lives what they mean to them. And I hope that I'm doing that and that I have the perspective that allows me to really reach out and make the most of the time that I have. So on that note, go give somebody that you love a hug and tell them how much they mean to you and just, you know, go out and smile at the blue sky and the yellow sun and the wonderful life that we're able to call our own. So. On that note, have a good night and I'll speak to you soon.